Sir, thank you very much for joining the program. First of all, your reaction to the government deciding to ban rallies just as your supporters were taking to the streets? Well, just to give you the background, uh, the Supreme Court asked the president of Pakistan to fix an election date. That date was, is fixed for the 30th of April, so th which means 50 days left. So my party decided to do an election, open our election campaign by a rally in Lahore today. The police had given us permission. They had approved the route of the, uh, the, the rally. And suddenly this morning, the permission was taken away, but not just taken away. We had these heavy contingents of police, and these uh, people coming to attend a peaceful rally were hit with uh, tear gas shells, a water cannon with some chemical in it, which people are still recovering from. And then police just charging these protesters, uh, breaking their cars, and uh, so many people got injured, but one, Bilal, uh, this uh, guy was killed in police custody. How do you interpret what you're describing as this, this government back and forth on the rules about holding a rally? Well, the issue is that the government, the, all the 12 parties sitting in government and their backers, they're petrified of elections because so far, in the last uh, eight months, out of the 37 by-elections, my party has won 30 out of them. So they're petrified of general elections. They did not want the general ele uh, elections. We went into the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court then decided to hold elections, and this date of 30th April was announced by the president. So we were just going according to our schedule to start our election campaign, but it is clear that the government does not want election. The parties sitting in the government, they want to get out of the election. So my worry is that the, the idea was to create a law and order situation today. And we really restrained our workers. We called off the rally because we were scared that there would be people killed. And that would be used as a pre pretext to get mm -hmm. out of the elections. Some might answer that while the government is perhaps afraid of the upcoming elections, you're also afraid of complying with judicial rules. The police did show up at your house in Lahore only a few days ago to arrest you, to compel you to show up in court, and you evaded arrest. <clears throat> well, let me tell you something. So far, there are 76 cases against me. I'm charged for terrorism charged for blasphemy, charged for sedition uh, in, in these 77 cases. And these cases have been made in the last few months. So I've been going from one courtroom to the other. What happened was when I was shot, uh, this assassination attempt on me, for, th for four months, uh, my leg wasn't, uh, I had three bullets in my leg, so I couldn't go out of my house. So that's when they started, the cases mounted. They wanted to be, me and appear in courts. And so it's just a question of how do you deal with 77 cases? I mean, how many court appearances do you make? So it is just one other way of getting me out of the way to contest the elections. So they want either to imprison me or to disqualify me because they are scared that this, my party, thanks to the Almighty, is one of the most popular party in Pakistan's history. So because they're scared, that's why they're trying to uh, find ways either to get out of elections or get me out of the way. There are provincial elections, as you mentioned, in April, and then national elections later this year. If they both go ahead as scheduled, can you legitimately run in national elections if, as you say, there are 70-plus cases currently pending against you? All the cases, I'm afraid, are frivolous. Whenever they go into a court of law, these cases will be dismissed. Now imagine, i just give you an example. There's a terrorism. So, I'm supposed to have committed sir, terrorism. Sir, sorry to interrupt, but and if that's is the, the case, case, and if that's, why, a, if that's what you believe, why a, didn't you show up in court? Because I couldn't show up in court. There were reasons why I, had, I was injured. So for a lot of time, I... 
for four months, I was bed, uh, house ridden. I couldn't really, my leg wasn't, the doctors would not allow me to travel. And they knew it. But before that, I was in attending all court cases. But it's only since I, I, was, uh, I, had, uh, I was shot, that's when I, I didn't attend courts. And since then, I have again. But the, look, it's physically not impossible impos to attend so many court cases. So my lawyers are trying to sort of work out a schedule. The second problem is security. My life is under threat because the people who, who try to assassinate me are in power. And so we have asked from the courts, we want protection. The court must give us me protection uh, before I can appear in courts. Because I repeat, the people who I have nominated in my assassination attempt are sitting in power. Right. And just for our viewers, I want to make clear that they deny that, including the prime minister, who said he has nothing to do uh, with, the, uh, with the shooting against you uh, late last year. How do you see the rest of this year playing out for you with these two elections coming up? Well, you know, the, the biggest concern right now for my political party is uh, to protect me because uh, there's, a severe, there's a serious threat to my life. And the reason is, I repeat, that these people sitting in power are petrified of losing the elections, which they will, which is why they don't want elections. So the question is, how do I campaign and yet uh, have a secure enough environment? question is, how do I go to these courts? I, I made three court appearances, and unfortunately, there was just no protection there. Uh, that's why we approached the court and said, look, there must be some police protection. But the problem is, the people who are supposed to protect me are the ones who are trying to kill me. But what's your plan for this year? Is it win elections and then, and then ride it back into office and into power in Islamabad? Well, the elections, national elections, are scheduled for October. But because we were in power in two of the four provinces, we dissolved our, uh, our assemblies here. And so, uh, to hold elections, so the Supreme Court then uh, uh, asked the president to give a date, which is 30th April. And on 30th April, we hope to contest in these two uh, provincial assemblies, which we were already in power. and. What we were hoping was that since it's 65 percent of Pakistan, these two provinces, there would be a national election. And the idea for national election is because our economy has gone into a tailspin. Pakistan is facing the worst economic crisis in its history. So the idea was to ho hold elections, which would then bring political stability and which would then bring economic stability. So this is ri really why we, uh, we went for elections in our two provinces. Uh, Imran Khan, former Prime Minister of Pakistan, thank you very much for coming on the program today.